what is up guys Jeremy here and welcome back to another video so I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of the annoying uh, supervised mode after updating to iOS 14.3 like I told you guys in the previous videos if you guys want to see how to update to iOS 14.3 no computer no blobs all standalone on your device uh, be sure to check out the link in the description also before we get into the tutorial I know people are going to ask me uh, about this wallpaper I will leave the wallpaper information in the description as well but to get rid of the supervised mode um, basically we're going to need files uh. now as you can see I updated to 14.3 I re-jailbroke with uncover and then I installed files uh, from Cydia all you got to do is just search for files uh, file manager pretty simple so now we need to go into Files uh, and we need to navigate to a specific place. Now, uh, big shout out to Apple Expert on Twitter um, for having the very first tweet that I saw explaining how to get rid of this. So big shout to Apple Expert. So I'm just going to follow that tweet. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to VAR. We're going to go to... Oh, and a quick tip here, guys. So if you go into VAR here and it doesn't look like this, you need to click on the the name option right there which makes it alphabetical that'll make navigating through files uh, so much easier um, so I always do that whenever I reinstall files as I switch it to name alphabetically as you guys can see there but anyways we're gonna go into containers and then we're gonna go into uh, shared and then we're gonna go to system group and now we're going to go into configuration profiles, which is this one right here. It's kind of hard to understand because the names are so long, so it cuts off some of it. But if you guys have it alphabetically, as you can see, like after the three dots there, it looks like configuration profiles. So we're going to select on that. We're going to go into library. We're going to go into configuration profiles. And then we are going to go into the uh, cloud configuration P list. Okay. So once you select on that, you just drop this down by clicking on dictionary. And as you can see, the is supervised is yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the little I there and we're going to turn that off to no. That's all we got to do. So now we have successfully turned it off. And as you can see, do you want to save all changes as I go to backup? You need to do that part. So you need to save it basically. Now, I believe once we hop out of here and we kill settings from multitasking, we might have to do a respring. Nope, just gotta kill it from multitasking. And as you guys can see, the supervised mode is now gone. Super easy to do, super easy. So again, big shout out to Apple Expert. I will leave the file directory listed in the description as well for those of you that just wanna see it written out. Um, so it will be down there. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.